Good morning. In the news today, statistics from ONS lay bare the scale of underemployment in the UK. Figures say one in ten people are underemployed and are desperate for more work. This figure has doubled over the past five years as the effects of the recession and low take-home pay have been felt. In property, the Planning Minister Nick Bowles came under fire yesterday after suggesting an area of countryside the size of London should be built on. The National Trust and the Campaign to Protect Rural England warned that the plans were unrealistic and would affect the quality of life for millions. The CPRE claimed there is enough brownfield land to build 1.5 million new homes without having to touch the countryside. In personal finance, payday loans firms may face an interest rate cap after the government has agreed to an amendment of the forthcoming financial services bill. Currently firms charge up to 4,000% 4, interest rate, something Justin Welby, the new Archbishop of Canter Canterbury, described as usury and a moral issue. The move has cross-party support and is welcomed as a victory for campaigners and consumers alike. And in corporate news, BP has been banned from bidding for US contracts due to a lack of integrity resulting from the Deepwater Horizon disaster. The US Environment Protection Agency announced yesterday that it has suspended the energy group due to its mismanagement of the spill. The move does not affect existing contracts but means BP can't bid for drilling new wells in the Gulf of Mexico, one of the world's richest oil fields. BP is expected to campaign for the suspension to be lifted.